in love with my next guest on Community, and then uh, when you appeared, Gillian Jacobs, on on the podcast version of this show, from which this show was born, it was it was a, for a forever thing, BFFs forever. And when we could have the uh, Rich Eyes and Friends of Rich pick three league, we had to include you. So thank you for coming on the show to it's a true be here honor. in person. What do you mean by that now? Well, I've watched this show many times at home. And Bless it, you. it is a truly surreal moment to be sitting in one of these famous chairs, <laughs> looking out into the active office park in beautiful El Segundo. Yes. I mean, with the Chris's, it's an honor. The DirecTV thoroughfare is a busy, <laughs> is a busy spot. It's a cross section of America. In have many you ways. pulled anyone in from? We have. I've, I saw a segment once where you pulled people in. We did. We had Julian Edelman of the Patriots on here and a female uh, employee. Uh, was sort of making eyes and blowing him kisses through the window. We Le noticed Leilani, that. Le Leilani in accounting. That's right, Leilani in accounting yeah. came by and, you know, and she, I, she, she's still with accounting, correct? We, have we checked? Brockman doesn't I assume care. So. Well, you, you know, <laughs> I thought you would know because she was quite an, a, an attractive young lady. I thought that was, you were doing your own he accounting. He wasn't getting the kisses and waves yeah, though, so he doesn't yeah, care. No. <laughs> there's, the other, there's the other patriot honk, uh, Julian Edelman here. See, we're showing it right now. Oh. This, was, this was Leilani years ago. Or he's years quite ago, attractive, I understand it. Yeah, he's Julian Edelman of the Patriots, who I don't believe you've chosen in your draftops.com pick three mm. contest just yet. I don't go by looks. <laughs> you go by <laughs> you go by stats, but I want to get into that in, in a matter of moments. First things first, uh, community. Can you tell anybody about what's going on? The fans out there. I know Yahoo. Yes. Saved it in a way, right? They did. Yahoo saved us for our sixth season. We right. did that. It's all on Yahoo screen. If you would like to watch it, it's mm -hmm. all available there. Mm -hmm. And our first five seasons are on Hulu Plus. Right. Um, I think the TV show is sadly finally done. No kidding. But. Hope remains eternal. Hope okay. springs eternal. Um, I think we would all like to do a movie if it was ever written. Sure. And so, I mean, that's, I guess, the hope. Yeah. The hope right now is for the movie. Right. And obviously, everybody's gone on to, to bigger and, and greater, well, greater things or equally as great things, including you. You've got Love coming up on Netflix. That's coming up right now. What's, what's, that's uh, next year, correct? February. Okay. Yes, it'll be on Netflix. Right. And what can you tell me about is it? Is it, it is about... It's about love. So yeah. what it's about. It'd be bad if it wasn't. I know, right? It'd be about hate, <laughs> right? Um, yes, it stars myself and Paul Rust, who also is one of the creators and writers. Mm -hmm. And it's produced by Judd Apatow. And um, so it's more in the girls, uh, you know, cable mm -hmm. dramedy world than right. the community mm -hmm. um, world. But I think it's going to be really good. I'm proud of it. And oh, that's great. yeah, I'm hopeful that people like it. Okay. Uh, I've got Gillian Jacobs here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Now, you, when you came on, again, this is years ago, you had some uh, issue with some of the terminology in the football world. Yes. Do you want to uh, sure. review this yes. right now for this so, audience? So, um, never been entirely clear on the rules of football despite growing up in Pittsburgh okay. <laughs> with a, a dad who tried his darndest. But um, things like, um, mm -hmm. you know, downs, for example. Yes. Didn't understand what that meant. It's not intuitive to me, the down system. Right. So um, my ever patient boyfriend, Chris, was explaining to me that you have a certain number of chances yes. to get yardage. And so you have first chance, second chance. And that made sense to me. Right. So I went into work the next day and told Joel McHale and Danny Pudi, mm -hmm. who are football fans, oh, I finally get it. It's mm -hmm. like chances. Mm -hmm. Joel, of course, takes any opportunity to mock me. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he tweeted you a yeah. challenge to use the term chances on a broadcast. I did. And you, I think, accepted well, that when challenge. A, when a gauntlet is thrown down, uh, Gillian, mm -hmm. and it's very easy for me to actually do, as opposed to making it hard, I'll pick that gauntlet straight up. Yeah. And I believe it was after a Thursday night football game, mm -hmm. I did an entire highlight using it, first chance and long, second chance and goal and things of that nature. And no one said anything. No. No, and I had Hall of Famers to my left. You know, they thought I was doing some, maybe a gag. I don't know, but it makes sense. Because I don't even know it yet, because it's, you understand. You that get it. That makes sense to me. Right, exactly. Yes, that's how you should be teaching people about football. Right. Chances. You've got chances. It's hope. It's hope. As opposed to down, which has its own negative what connotation to it. What does that mean? Does that mean where you're, the ball goes down, that's a down? No. What does it mean? But it makes sense that it's second chance and long, yes. third chance or what have you. Yes. But it has it didn't catch on, unfortunately. It has on with like ten people on the internet, I get tweeted second chance and long. Do you every, really? Yeah, Are you every serious? now and again. Yeah. No kidding. Every now and again I get I get tweeted second chance and long. Right. Yeah. 
I mean, to me, I feel like I'm making small but important <laughs> strides in the football world. Yes. Um, I, I, I like the little fanny packs that the quarterbacks have. <laughs> The little hand warmer fanny packs. Well, I mean, now we're going to see more of them because the weather's turning. Yes. Right. That's true. Although, would if you were playing quarterback and it's Bus. 90 degrees out, would you still would you still have the fanny pack and just use it for something else? Yeah, maybe I'd have a dry towel in there, because if my palms were getting too sweaty. You can't have that. Oh really? No, 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 no. I'm just saying you can't have your. No, palms you can't have sweaty. a sweaty palm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not. No, 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 you, no, no you, dry towels. No, no, you can't. No, you yeah. can't. You can't have a sweaty palm. Chapstick, maybe if like I was getting distracted by how chapped my lips were. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I would like a snack in there if you're getting hungry. That's a good one. I have a question. Okay. Do you sweat so much while playing football that you don't have to pee, or are they running to the locker room to pee during halftime? It's interesting that you 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 mentioned that. Um, that. In San Diego, uh, the NFL Network set is right next to the bathroom. Uh huh. And we have seen players run from the sideline into the bathroom. Yeah. And it's the same bathroom that, you know, we use as well. Really? Well, because it's right there. Oh. I don't know if we were supposed to be mm -hmm. using that, but we did that. And one time, I actually used it once mm -hmm. and felt her to knock on the door. And I opened it, and it was a San Diego Charger waiting. <laughs> that actually happened. Wow. It wasn't Nick Novak, though, because he just went on the sidelines that one time. That was one what? time also, yes. Law, do you want to yeah, bring so that Nick, up? Nick Novak was the kicker for uh, San Diego, <laughs> and a couple of the team equipment guys w wrapped around him with towels. towels. And he knelt down, and he went on the sidelines, and, like, a camera kind of caught it. It yeah. was a little awkward. It wasn't two, though, right? It was not two, He went no. for one. It was, That's it was, easy kicker. <laughs> he went for one. Kicker, extra point. It wasn't a two-pointer, right? It was regular distance, though, not it, it was? extended. Oh, not like now. Right. Nowadays, it's further away. But see, you're onto something right there. Uh, these are all my questions about the game Do of football. Do you have any more? Is there anything else we can help you with on this Sure, time? sure. Um, mm -hmm. um, why? Okay. I was using a term, a term that Joel was making fun of me for. Yes. Um, was I saying halfbacks and nobody says halfbacks anymore? Well, halfback is an old school football term. So maybe my dad used to say that, yes. and that's in the why. Yes. What yes, do they say it's, now? Because it's sort of a running back, but okay. half. Sometimes you still see it in college football. Tailback and halfback don't get used much. Tell anymore. Joel to just get off your back next time you see him. I will. You know, He's quite heavy. I, I would like him to get off my I back. Know that. Period. I know. Yeah. Well, so now how are you choosing your, your draft ops pick three if, if, if this is from right. what we're seeing? You're... May I be candid? Please. All right. I'm not doing my picks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is how I'm doing my picks. Okay. So. Um, so I was in New York for about two months working on a movie. Yes. And so um, I became friends with Kenny, who drove me every day to set. Mm -hmm. And he is a football fan. So I was having Kenny do my picks. And then um, I came back to LA, and I think my boyfriend didn't like that Kenny had been doing my picks. So now Chris is doing my picks. But I have to say, the one week I won yes. was with Kenny's picks. Because you know you beat Chris Brockman that week with Kenny's picks. And how, by how many points did 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 Gillian slash Kenny beat you? Point three points. Point three oh! points. Oh! <laughs> I won, and Kenny won. That's right. And so did Urban Arts. Yes, yeah. Urban Arts Partnership won, won most importantly. Dollars. Yes. Okay. So here's the deal, okay? All right. We know um, what your standings have been with Chris, your boyfriend, mm -hmm. and with Kenny. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to reveal this right, right now? Okay. <laughs> you it. never finished higher than sixth with Chris picking for you. You are fifth place overall in yeah. the competition, which means you have finished much higher than sixth other times, uh, meaning any other time your boyfriend does not. Are you talking about a Kenny pick? Yeah, well, you're, with Kenny, you finished first and fourth. Yeah, I know. I don't want to crazy this. Would this be no, a problem? It's, I mean, to Chris's defense, he claims that he would have picked the same people as oh, Kenny. No. Oh. <laughs> is, this, uh, is, is there a problem? I right mean, now? I don't want to cause waves at home. <laughs> okay. I'd rather lose the league than anger Chris, but. Okay. I think Kenny Kenny's bringing in the money for okay. the kids. Yeah, okay. This is urban arts. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, let's take a break because can we get Kenny on the phone? We can have for Kenny. Okay, we're back in 60 seconds. We're going to get your picks for this week. I, okay. And then maybe stir the pot a little bit more. Shoot. Okay. All right. Gillian Jacobs is here on the Rich Eisen Show. And your phone calls, we'll take some 844-204-RICH as well before we beat it on down the line for Thursday Night Football.
<laughs> Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Gillian Jacobs is with me at Gillian Jacobs on Twitter. Uh, and I, I, one of my favorite tweets you've ever sent out is where you uh, photoshopped yourself into the truck that <laughs> allegedly was stolen from this show last fall in Miami. Was that ever recovered? It was the, the back end of it. The more expensive part of it was recovered. We're showing the tweet oh, uh, on our screen right now. <laughs> you I just, took it. In the midst of all the craziness, uh, when this, when our, when our mobile unit, as it was called, a production mobile unit, got stolen, hey, now. the, the front, yeah, I know, uh, the, the front end of it, that, that's been Gone. chopped into pieces, probably in various uh, uh, other uh, aspects of our universe right mm -hmm. now. But the, the expensive part of it was actually found on a train track that night. Wow. Yeah, ditched. But you had nothing to do with it, despite that photographic evidence. I correct? don't know. I don't know. Okay, and we asked you to be in this Friends of Rich League, and you yes. were great to do it, especially since you just admitted you were relying on others oh, yeah. to do it, which is great. Your boyfriend, Chris, made your picks weeks one, two, five, and six. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in that case, you finished uh, 11th and two eighth places, oh. and Chris is spitting the bit for you. Shoot. But that said, uh, Kenny the driver in New York, can mm -hmm. we get him on the phone right yeah, now? She gave us the number of Del Tufo's okay. going to call my, my him right call now. it up, because I think he's got your picks for this week for you. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, and good. Kenny was first and fourth. Chris Brockman lost because this guy's picks were, Kenny. were, were .3 better. Where's Kenny from? Kenny's from Long Island, Hicksville, Long Island. So he's going to have a thick accent? Oh, yeah. Okay. The best you've ever heard. Okay, here we go. I know a pretty good ones. Kenny. As long as Kenny is a big time. That's two rings for Kenny. Come on, Ken. Hello? Kenny, is, is this Kenny? Yes, it is. Ke Kenny, uh, it's Rich Eisen and Gillian Jacobs live on the Rich Eisen Show right now. Hey, how you doing? What's, go what's going on, Kenny? Oh, I can't hear him. Can you hear Not him? Not too much. Can you put him up there, Mike Del Tufo, please? Okay. I'm sorry? No, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, Kenny. My, my, guy, my guy is screwing it up. <laughs> Kenny, are you there? Gillian, what's going on? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you at the man cave? Yes, I am. Kenny had to go I'm to the man cave. I'm watching you guys right now. Okay. What's in the man cave, Kenny? Oh, we got we got three TVs set up, direct TV. Okay. Uh, you know, this is where we spend our Sundays. I, I, I'm going to reveal, Kenny, that I'm the only woman who's ever been invited to watch football at the man you cave. You said this on TV. Yep, I just called you out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a men's only thing? It's a men's only thing. Well, I guess. But an invite was extended to me. I am allowed to go to the man cave to watch football. So you made it a woman cave that day? I made it a gender neutral cave. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring to it, Billy. I gotta be honest with you. All right, Penny. So are you a, does it make you a, a Met Jet? Is that what you are? No, I'm actually a, a Met Giants fan. Okay, that's an odd one. But I'm a Jet yes. Yankee, so you know mm. I, I can't be. So congratulations on the Mets making the uh, the World Series, Kenny. Yeah, driver. I'm pretty excited about it, man. Let's go Mets. Okay. Woo. So you made you you have do you have Gillian's picks for this week or is it? Or, or, we reverted to Chris. Well, these are Chris's picks. These are Chris's picks. We could do oh. a compare and contrast of who Kenny would pick versus who Chris picked. Okay. So, Kenny, did you come out with a pick three this week yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could come up with them right now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, Kenny. Hold on a minute, Kenny. What we're going to do is read off Chris's picks. <laughs> then okay. you're going to give us what your picks are. And we're going to find out, Gillian, if who does better this week. Shoot. Just to stir the pot. Shoot. Will you agree, your personal will life you a little agree bit. to go with whoever does better the rest of the season? This yet, week. Yet. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> oh my God, this don't is so, do that to her, Law. So tense. This is it's so right. tense. Oh man, I don't want to cause any drama. Okay, let's Kenny, not. Kenny, you won money for the children. You did a we great did job. You, you did it too. Don't, <laughs> don't, be, don't be fooled by the dress and the high heels, man. This girl knows her football. No, I, sure. I love it. Okay, Gillian, <laughs> those are your picks for this week, right. right there. Here we go. These are Gillian Jacobs' pick three. Uh, Friends of Rich, DraftOps.com, Celebrity League picks for week, week number seven. Your, Our, your quarterback this week is? Philip Rivers of the Chargers. Okay. That's another pick, Brockman. That's Philip Rivers. He's shaking his head. Because, <laughs> That's a bad one? No, he chose it too, oh. so he can't gain any ground on you because, okay. you know, you're chasing him right now. So who's your running back right there? Devonta Freeman. Devonta Freeman. Is a good pick. All right. I That's like that. Good... Oh, yeah, he's, okay. he's going up against the 30-second rush defense. Kenny, so... what do you think of that? So far, it looks pretty good. Okay, right. and what do you got for me for the wide receiver? Martavis Bryant. Ah, Martavis that's Bryant. An, that's another good one. And Chris said that that was an especially good pick because he's from the Steelers, my hometown okay. team. Okay. <laughs> Kenny, what do you think of that pick three? 
Uh, that's pretty good. What do you got? I, what do you got for me? Give me one. I think I would go with Tom Brady as the quarterback. GQ smooth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Brady and who you else? Can't go wrong with Tom Brady, and then uh, definitely go with Devontae Freeman. Okay. And I would. Probably say Antonio Brown over Brian. Okay, there okay, you go. All right, we're gonna Very see. Good. Ooh, you're it's hot in here. Is it hot in here? <laughs> we gotta Shoot. stick with, with uh, Pittsburgh, you. your hometown. Yeah. Okay, wide receiver. Hey, Kenny, thanks for calling in, bud. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching this show in the man cave and uh, for taking care of Gillian in New York. No problem. Thanks, guys. Bye, see Kenny. You later, Gillian. Bye. Kenny the driver. Kenny the driver. Versus Chris the boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. So what I do this is awesome. basically, for the NFL Network. It's Brady and, and Brown All versus right. Br uh, Bryant and Phillip Rivers. I don't know. Uh, I like it. By the way, Why I did Chris pick Phillip Rivers? Is he doing especially well? He just well? had a 500-yard game last right. week. He's, he's been great. He's he leads the, the NFL hand. in passing yards. Oh, you're defending him now because it's your pick, too. Right. Yeah. It's a great pick. Okay, exactly. it's a great pick. Yes. Yeah. But your wide, your wide receiver has the third-string quarterback throwing to him. Yeah. The wide receiver is a little bit of a... Oh, it's the Steelers a, pick? The pick? What's going on? What's going on with the Steelers right now? Right now, uh, Ben Roethlisberger is hurt. Yes. He may come back shortly. Okay. They need him to come back shortly, mm -hmm. unless this third-string quarterback can find Martavis Bryant over and over and over again on behalf of the Urban Arts. Why did Chris pick this person? This is because uh, well, Bryant Bryant is a young player who's got a big upside, as they say. Okay. Thirty-four career receptions, ten of them for touchdowns. Had a yeah. huge game last week. He's, a lot of chances. <laughs> A lot of chances. Lot of you, chances. I think I told you on the podcast that yeah. my mom's nickname for me as a kid was Bubby Brewster. The, <laughs> Bubby the, Brewster. Brewster? Brewster? Brewster. 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 Bubby Brewster. Yeah, Bubby's not punky. Okay. <laughs> that punky was when my, Brewster. He was the backup quarterback for the Steelers, yeah, right? Yeah, back in the day. He was. That he was started my, for a little bit. Really? That yeah. was my mom's nickname for That's me awesome. when I was a kid. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. My play, it's over already? Well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Fun. You can sit at my desk. Well, you. I don't want to sit at your desk. Too much trash. You shouldn't sit. No, there's no trash. <laughs> she watches this show. There's no cream cheese. Here's what we're going to do. No peeps for the anymore. television audience, we're going to take a break. I would like you to go over there and rate what you see right there. All right. For his man, his man cave. Oh, his man. Cave don't clean it, Brockman. He, he really on, has a what, Filene's what basement underneath his here? workspace. <laughs> You too can sign up for DraftOps.com Pick 3 within seconds and go up against real people like Gillian, like Kenny the Driver, like Chris the Boyfriend, like us here. DraftOps.com. Check things out right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Simple to play, easy to win. That is DraftOps.com. Pick, watch, win. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having you me. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.